canceled. Sweezy. Trump is selling God Bless the USA Bibles for $59.99 as he faces mounting legal bills. Former President Donald Trump is now selling Bibles as he runs to return to the White House. Trump, who became the presumptive Republican nominee earlier this month, released a video on his Truth Social platform on Tuesday urging his supporters to buy the God Bless the USA Bible, which is inspired by country singer Lee Greenwood's patriotic ballad. Trump takes the stage to the song at each of his rallies and has appeared with Greenwood at events. Happy Holy, Happy Holy Week. Let's pray. Let's let's make America pray again. As we lead into Good Friday and Easter, I encourage you to get a copy of the God Bless the USA Bible. Trump wrote, directing his supporters to a website selling the books for fifty nine ninety nine. The effort comes as Trump has faced a serious money crunch amid mounting legal bills while he fights for tour criminal indictments. Along with a series of civil charges, Trump has given a reprieve Monday when a New York appeals court agreed to hold off on collecting the more than $454 million he owes following a civil fraud judgment if he puts up $175 million within 10 days. Trump has already posted a $92 million bond in connection with defamation cases brought by the writer E. Jean Carroll, who accused Trump of sexual assault. All America needs a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. Trump said in the video posted on Truth Social, I'm proud to endorse and encourage you to get the Bible. Uh, we must make America pray again. Billing itself as the only Bible endorsed by President Trump, the New Ventures website called calls it easy to read. <laughs> <laughs> with large print <laughs> and a slim design that invites you to explore God's word any to anywhere, anytime. Besides a King James Version translation, it includes copies of the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Declaration of Independence and the Pledge of Allegiance, as well as a handwritten chorus of the famous Greenwood song. The Bible is just the latest commercial venture that Trump has pursued while campaigning. <coughs> so if you don't, so if you want to make um, the reason why he's doing this is uh, because uh, he's about to run out of all his money and even like campaign or donations and stuff like that. Like this is he has a ton of money he owes. And uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm guessing he doesn't want to get his assets seized, which it's going to be Trump. If Trump if he doesn't pay all this, like Trump Tower is gone. And so. The reason why he's making his own Bible and selling his own Bible is because it can probably fall under some sort of religious type of thing. And so, one, it might not count towards any of the lawsuits or whatever, so he just has money. Uh, that's pretty much why he's doing it. And he knows all his uh, supporters are sheep and the dumbest people alive. Reasons why this Bible is easy to read with large print and a slim design that invites you to explore God's word anywhere, anytime. Uh, oh boy, you know, like, like you guys know this is a scam, right? You know, I know the Trump supporters don't, they think he's a man of God. And uh, yeah, if you, the best thing to do is when you get into a fight with a specific religious conservative, ask them the question, do you believe Donald Trump represents Jesus? And they will always avoid the question. That's always avoiding the question. So you just have to be adamant, like, you're not answering my goddamn question. Do you believe, this is a yes or no question, do you believe Donald Trump represents Jesus? And, and if you say your answer is yes, you are not reading your Bible, which is something I always say is the people who don't believe in Christianity anymore are the ones who have actually read the Bible. I know the most of those people who do believe it really don't read the Bible. You know, maybe the the con artist who uh, get get your money and emotionally abuse you and, you know, other abuses too. Uh, they're probably going to use it and that way they can, because no one's reading the Bible. No one fucking reads, dude. No one. And if you're, if you are an avid reader, you're not fucking reading the Bible, dude. That shit gets boring. I know because I read the Bible and, uh, and there's so many things in the Bible that just like show how much of a false prophet he is. And if you're one of those rapture believing people who believes in the antichrist and bullshit like that, like. Donald Trump, like, lists everything. I think it's kind of this idea, the idea was with the Antichrist, is like, there's going to be false prophets and false people who claim they're part of God and they're not. And, you know, I'm not saying Donald Trump's the Antichrist. It's just this idea 
of being anti-Christ. And, you know, people like Joel Osteen, Mike Bickle, Donald Trump, you know, these people don't represent what the Bible is. And if you do, you really need to start deconstructing your faith, you know? And they say deconstructing is a a scary word in churches, and, like, churches always encourage you not to do that because then you'll start thinking for yourself and probably realize it's all bullshit. But I know a lot of people who have gone through their deconstructive process and are still Christians, too. And so I'm not saying that they probably have some changes, like, you know, gay marriage and gay people are okay, you know? Uh, women should decide their bodies. The Bible doesn't really... What the Bible actually says about abortion is if you think your wife cheated on you, you have to abort the child. That's in the Old Testament. So whatever you want to believe there. And there's really nothing in the real translation of the Bible that says being gay is bad because most of those were translated to being pedophiles. And we all know that's bad. And you shouldn't be justifying that, you know? It's like you got to keep trans people out of the bathrooms, but yet you're like... Was it like Kentucky? They just passed a law that's like, you can marry a 13-year-old, and that's okay. Yes, we got to protect our kids, but that's fine. You can you can just hand off your young 13-year-old daughter to some creep and be like, it's my wife now. I need my wife, you know? It's just shit like this. What I'm really surprised at, you know, with, you know, all of this, out of all of this, I am so shocked that Donald Trump hasn't made his own translation of the Bible and, like, has been releasing, like, the Trump version of the Bible to be honest with you, I am just so surprised. Like, you know, it's like this idea of the King James Bible, because I think the story goes, and I'm, pro- I'm probably wrong, so please leave a comment if I'm wrong. Uh, it was that there was a king named James, and he was super religious, and so he made his, and probably a narcissist too, so he had to make his own Bible. And so, and then that became the most popular Bible up until, like, the NIV version came out or whatever, and the ESV, English Standard Version of the Bible, probably all translated wrong, you know, just, you know, just got to realize that the only way you can really know the Bible is getting, getting a copy of the original text, you know, word for word, understanding the actual language it was, understanding what the language was at the time it was written to fully understand the context. You know, it's like reading Shakespeare and then it would be like reading Shakespeare because you're just like reading it. You're like, what the fuck is he talking about? And then like, you kind of like get an idea of what's going on in the show and you're like, okay, that makes more sense now. Okay. That now this makes sense, you know? So, yeah, but I'm surprised there's no Donald Trump translation of the Bible. That he People would eat that shit up. Like, there would be churches. There's already MAGA churches already, you know, who combine their patriotism to the United States with their Christianity, which, you know, I don't think those two should mix, in my opinion, because I think that if you kind of leave it for a everyone can have their own religious beliefs, I think that just makes a society better. And that was kind of what I think the Founding Fathers' ideas were, even though it was mostly, the United States was probably mostly Christian and atheists and agnostics at the time, you know? It's like, you can be Catholic, you can be Baptist, you can be, what you know, you can be whatever, you know, you can be whatever you want. It started with denominations, then we kind of moved towards every religion, you know, because the Constitution was kind of set it up that way. So, yeah, so I'm trying to think of, Bible stories. Uh, let's do the let's do the Good Samaritan. So there was this guy. This uh, there was this guy. You know, and uh, he was great. You know, not as great as me. Um, you know, he was he was, he, he was great. He was great. By the way, he he, he was great. And uh, you know, and uh, he got into an accident, and he was on the side of the road. And uh, you know, if I would have been there, I would have helped him. You know, because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy, and I, I help him where I am. So it was just like run-on sentences and shit like that. Just like, and one guy passed. Uh, he voted for Hillary, and obviously he didn't help him. Uh, the next guy, you know, the, the next liberal uh, that was helping this other liberal, uh, they were liberals, helping this other liberal, uh, he was not a good person he, either. He voted for Joe Biden and uh, Sleepy Joe. He's voted for Sleepy Joe. And so he was a bad person too, so he didn't go by there. But then a conservative walked by, and though he was a liberal, he helped him out because uh, being conservative and being a Republican is the best thing ever, you know? <laughs> like, that's the shit I imagine in the Donald Trump Bible. Not the, not the, you know, just the Donald Trump translating the Bible or, like, someone translates it. We're not, that would actually take a lot of time, though. I forgot that that shit. I remember hearing about uh, missionaries who who worked on getting the Bible translated into every language, which... That's cool. You can just, you know, edit it however you want to, to how to control society. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
in in regards to Donald Trump. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. You got the this guy stinks. Thank you for watching this clip. Watch it again or watch something.